Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. It's Kara Lockwood here, and I am about to bring on my lovely guest. Hello. Hi. Oh, Yay. Okay. she's here. You made What's it. My, I made it. I made it. Oh, my gosh. And, and we're going to check right now. We're going to check in a minute to see if we populate here on the good old Facebook soon. I'll, I'll watch my page to see if that happens. Um, so you guys, if you're watching on YouTube, somebody's already popped on. If you popped on, let me know if you're on Facebook or YouTube. And because um, we're just we're just trying to see if Facebook is playing nice today. So so far, it's not populated on my site on my page. But oh, you got a little puppy with you. Hi, yeah, mommy. I'm sorry. I warn you ahead of time. The dogs they are driving me insane today. <laughs> Alexis, oh my gosh. Down. My dog, my dog has been driving me insane too because we have my other house guest and um, we're trying to figure out phones and this and that and he's all crazy and gets scared of the noises and all uh, that. Like he's been a big baby. Hi Peggy. Hi Lonnie. Hi Suzanne. All right. You guys are on Facebook. Facebook is playing nice. Thank it you. It is. Okay. All right. Well, let me introduce myself and then I can introduce you and I can tell you, tell everybody a little bit about what we're doing. Uh, my name is Kara Lockwood with Kara's Color Me Creative. I am the owner of that brand. I'm going to call it a brand. Um, I will, I usually actually call it my Color Me brand because my pages are Color Me Creative and then my groups are Color Me Creative Artists in the Making. That's a subscription group and where I provide tutorials every single month and we do inspiration. We do retreats. Oh my gosh, Kim, just in case we have one more space at the retreat because somebody had to cancel. Oh my uh, gosh. I'm, I'm honestly going to think about that. Um, yes. And retreats. And then I have a business builders group called color me creative business builders, which Kim is a part of, which means she is a full fledged, Kara's crew. <laughs> Proud member. Right. And so for this series, we're going to start this. We're going to do it every Monday and it's called making stuff <laughs> <laughs> with Kara's crew, with Kara and crew. And I just thought, you know, I come on and paint and I paint furniture and I paint art and all that, but there's so much more right and we all are creative so this is going to be making anything and it's going to be a light one half hour little series like we're not going to go longer than 30 or 35 minutes hi carrie t um and we're just going to make stuff some days might be cooking next week we're doing origami right how fun is that that'll be cool yeah but so and this so this is kim and uh, Kimberly, do you like to go by Kim or Kimberly? Um, it doesn't matter. I go by Kim mostly in my day around here. So, yeah. Okay. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your business and then we'll just get right on it because we don't want to bore everybody with the nitty gritty. I mean, with the stuff we want to get to the nitty gritty. Yeah. So tell everybody about talk. your business, where they can find you, what they can get from you. Yeah. Well, I am Kimberly Sminky of Lolly Doodle Studios and this camera um lolly doodle studios widow on fire you can find me facebook TikTok, um all the places instagram youtube uh same name pinterest um and i'm an artist a hand letterer um and a crafter a little bit of a crafter and as you might know from the name i became a widow in my early 40s started realizing that this thing called art that I love to do all these years really serves a purpose for healing. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Anytime when I'm in a bad mood or I just need to get away, I can just come to, doesn't matter what kind of art, like I can come to this studio, I can come to my studio down the street or I can grab my iPad and do graphic art or, or whatever, any kind of art, because what happens is you're engrossed in the art and your mind relaxes, right? You're not thinking about your problems. And so your mind has a time to heal because you're not thinking about your hurt and that's what you need to heal, right? That's that it. Yeah. So, 
Yes, so I'm super happy to have you here. She's a hoot, you guys. Kimberly. I'm excited. I'm excited. Sorry, I was just getting a phone call. Um, Kimberly right. is a hoot, and so we're going to let her tell you what we're going to be doing because she is going to be guiding me. So yes. I love that. Yes. Um, we are going to paint an abstract sort of impasto angel, um, which is very simple, very easy to do. I mean, anybody can do it. Um, typically, um, I don't know where I just stuck it. You don't need any special tools. That's what I was telling Kara. Sorry, let me see. Of course, my palette knife has decided to disappear on me, and I just had it out. Um, but that's the joy of life. That's what happens. That's what happens. But I came prepared, guys, because really, if you have like a utensil or even a cake spatula that you're not using, you can use those things. Forks are excellent to get texture. And I've also been known to use these gift cards that are left out. Um, oh, yeah. I have one of those right here. Yeah. Keep on going. Yeah, and pasta, like doing that impasto thing, it works better with like your really thick, more of your heavy body paint. Um, but a little trick that I have is you can always add things like the gloss medium gel to your regular craft paint to thicken it up. Um, that works just as well. Or another thing, and I have just a little bit here. I have been known to thicken my paint up with cornstarch um, or a flour of some sort. Just anything to give it some texture. You can so stick what? anything in there, right? Like Honestly, sand, flour. What I did was I just took some white chalk paint that was already kind of thick and I had go. it out for a couple hours. There you go. So, so I'm going to just move you, move me over here to my canvas. And of course, um, my easel isn't standing up straight either. So I just have you kind of, I have it kind of propped here, but that's fine. And the thing is with this is like, we're not going for perfection. We're going for abstract. And then you could pick the colors. Colors are totally up to you. You can go all muted. You can go um, bright and neon, which, Tara, that would be right up your our, your your alley there, girlfriend. <laughs> but I have muted colors today, I think. Well, I have it all available, obviously. Okay. I've got my neons, but I'm going to watch you and see what you do first. Okay. I'm watching you down here. So, you guys, if you see me going down here, I'm not ignoring. I'm trying to get a better view of what Kimberly is doing. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Lisa Petrosky Camacho. Mm -hmm. Trying to make sure you guys got a decent view. So also, I just go wait, ahead, Kara. Before we get started, I want to also let you know, you know, I'm doing this for a lot of reasons. For me, just to get back involved in doing these tutorials, but also because my one of my my tagline on my business is art community collaboration. And I really, really believe that we grow better together and that we're just better together. And so that's why I'm offering you know this time like to come on with Kara's crew so we can kind of help support each other mm -hmm. so the only way we do that is if you take these and send them to your people so that way your people who maybe if you've watched me before they know me or whatever but <laughs> if they might not know kim and vice versa kim's people might not know me so this is a way for us to help us artists because it's so freaking hard to be an artist and to make a living at being an artist. So you guys helping us is what we all need. That's um, my little speech. Okay. Nope, that's the truth. And I have shared this over to my page. So if anyone is watching on Lolly Doodle, thank you for tuning in, guys. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So basically, I've just went with a soft blue for my background, and I have just my paint. This, and it's just, this is the, it's not the expensive stuff. And then I have some of my heavy bodied um, acrylic medium. 
And I'm just going to mix some of that in here. I don't know if you can see that. So or we're going to do a background. I'm just going to do a very quick background. Very quick. We're not even going to worry about it drying. Look, she didn't even tell me she was using that color, and I've got it right here. No way. All, All right. right. So, and I'm using my fork. I mean, my, my knife, because I swear I had my palette knife um, ready. and then Is it a the, fork or a knife? Because I, I have the knife. There, sister. <laughs> I, I know. I have the knife. Okay. And, you know, if you use this, the one side, you're going to get those ridges in there. And basically, we're just going to scrape that. And I just happen to have a black background canvas but you can use any color. I've done this on wood as well. Mine's, yeah. mine's burlap. Oh, that'll work out well too. Yeah. Um, I, I used to love getting the um, the linen canvases and doing them on there. Yeah, I just so, have, to have this sitting around and I don't really use burlap so much. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be perfect for this angel. Yeah. So. I'm just, you can probably hear it. I'm scraping that paint just right down the canvas. Do you guys um, like that sound of scraping? Some high tease creation. Hi. Some might like it. Some might hate it. Um, but Melanie, yeah, that's Perry, big sister. Sorry. Melanie Perry and I have been going back and forth. She's next week. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait for the series. It'll be something I'm tuning into every Monday. Now. Making Good. stuff, making stuff. Oh, see, I'm a, I'm a hot mess over here, girl. But yeah, just, you get it. I mean, you could put many colors, but you're just scraping that on the background. I'm not even worrying about my, my center, really. So I'm just going to wipe off my knife. And then whatever color... We're gonna do just a very soft. I didn't. Did I even tell you what we were painting? We're gonna paint an angel, so we're just gonna do a very simple dress. And you can use, as I said, whatever colors you feel drawn to. I'm gonna grab this. Um, oh, I painted over my center. You that's left, okay. It's you fine. Left open for your angel. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just going to use like a really, um, it's like an emerald green that I have here. Can't see the first word. Thalo, maybe a thalo green. I'm not even going to clean my knife, right? So I'm just going to dip into that paint again. The green. Okay, I see it. And then just decide kind of where you want your angel's dress to start. So I'm going to so put this it. Gonna, this is going to be the dress, not the wings. Correct. Okay. So I'm just going to drop that there and almost. I need to figure out the color. Take your time, Kara. <laughs> <laughs> almost in like a. Um, Oh, let's go back to kindergarten. A triangular shape. I'm just going to pull that paint down. And look, you can see it doesn't matter. Sorry, I'm watching. You're fine, girlfriend. Just pull that paint out. And look, you can grab some of the blue that we put in the background. You can just pull some of that through. And let some of the background show through. <laughs> you might be the only person in the world that paints faster than me. I'm just uh -huh. trying to get my paint open. <laughs> Sorry, girlfriend. <laughs> so I might have to choose another color. I thought this would be the perfect color. Take <laughs> your time. Well, it won't open. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't feel so bad. Now that I can't find my palette knife, I'm doing a palette. And look, it's right here in front of my face. Did you just, just see that? I'm just a hot mess. Was it right in front of your face? Of course it was. It was right here in front of the canvas. Hello? Okay, I'm going to try something else here. All right, I'm going to go with very neutral. I'm going to do 
This is Daydreams Karma. Oh, yeah. that'll be pretty. Okay. I have to try that paint. I have not sure. tried. Oh, it's lovely. Daydreams paint, yeah. If there's any Daydream Apothecary paint retailers, go ahead and throw up your link, sisters, on here. Okay, so hold up. Let me get my dress on. Take your time. So if this is the knife, right? The actual palette knife. You're just going to hold it straight against the canvas. So I'll show you. I'll show yep. you guys what I'm doing. There you go. And I'm going to angle it out kind of like a soft triangle. Yeah, kind of like an elongated triangle. Well, that looks brown. It's no bueno. <laughs> well, you can go over it with some other color. Yes, I can. What else you got, girlfriend? Hmm. Well, that pink did not want to open up. That would have been really pretty. Oh. Okay. We'll go over it with another color. I got all the colors. It's just a there matter. There you go. Just a matter of choosing one. All the colors in the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hi, Julie. Hi, Carrie. Let's see. We got someone that's saying, face. hi, Doreen. Is anybody here from, um, is anybody here from YouTube? All right. Yeah, that's a first for me live on YouTube. Oh, it is? It is. Um, I first. haven't done it in a long time, but it it does really well as far as like the the camera. It's really yeah. the YouTube camera is really pretty. It's a first, but I don't think it's gonna be a last. Yay! Okay, now I got some pink on here. I got the daydream. Let's see which one is this. The hibiscus. Okay. And you're using acrylics, so I wanna I wanna kind of like 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 really really drive this home to folks i don't sell any paint i'm a content creator for daydream but i am no matter what with my group it's always been this way where i say guys you use whatever you have i'm not in the business of trying to make you buy things you know so it's it's just more about tapping into your creativity right kim just like grabbing well, that's that's it. Like some of the most fun that I have are with these tools right here. I love to just get in there. We're luck you're lucky I'm not doing like finger painting session tonight. Oh. I just I love using the fingers. I love doing all that. Did you get yeah. your dress on, girlfriend? I did. I did. It looks more like Dracula's cape, but we're just gonna go with That's it. That's all right. So I've got some, see, it's funny because you went subtle and I went neon. Um, so I've got some neon yellow and I'm just going to drag that down the dress a little bit. You can use the side. If you I got neon the, yellow. Yep. If you use the side, you get that straight line. Oh, here. How about some neon orange? So you're just kind of dragging it down the side to give like a really cool highlight. I, I just, yeah, I want to give it, like, so you can see here where some of my blue came through and I just want to create depth and texture. You can even grab some white in there. You can take the dress as far down as you want. Yeah, you can get all that texture and and depth. You don't want it to be. See, this is me. Like when I get into a painting, I love doing this. Okay, good. We're back. We were we were off for a second. Oh, we took a little off. Yeah. I like doing this every now and then because it takes me away from that hyper focus of. Uh, when I paint, I'm usually very tight, um, yeah. blending and shading, and I love to take a step back from time to time. Yeah, and just make m my brain relax. Yeah, um, I do. Teaches, too. Yeah, it teaches. I mean, it's just a, a lesson for me that 
look, we can't control at pretty much anything in life. So it kind of teaches you to go with the flow. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I love so it. So I got my, I have my dress on. I'm just going to clean off my palette knife. Hi, and Christina Wagner Moore and Donna. Hi, Donna. Hi, Sue. Hi, Sherry. I see all these fun people coming on. Patricia. Hi, everybody. Hi. Thanks for coming on. Okay, so what's next? What's next? We're going to put, um, I actually do her face or her head last. So next is the white. Oh, okay. use white. Yeah. And if you have the thick, Heavy white, great. If not, thicken up that white with some cornstarch or use some of the heavy body paint. I'm just going to throw a little bit of cornstarch in my white. I think my dress needs to be a little bit longer. She looks, <laughs> she looks stubby. <laughs> well, there are short angels, I'm sure, Karen. No, I think that when we all die and go to heaven, we get long supermodel bodies. Well, there you go. That's a good way to look <laughs> at it, right? I'm just going to have to disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. I will take that. I've been thin in my life, so I will take that. I will be first for me, right? Uh, oh my gosh! So, all right. Once you have your white thickened up, or you know, if you're using the the thicker paint, same thing. Just load up some paint on that knife or palette knife you're using. And then what I like to do is start kind of where the head's going to be. And I want to go in like a V shape. Okay. So I'm going to take that palette knife and just stick it to the canvas and pull it straight up and out. Oh, like a V up and yep. out. Okay. It's funny because, you know, I, I, I did some of these similar, you know, years ago and I never felt like I could get the correct i don't know so everybody teaches it differently i like that i like this v yeah yeah i've done them straight out i've done them and i and then i go down um but i like to get that v in there and i'm just gonna drag that paint out and you're gonna see it's gonna pull up if you hit the dress it's gonna pull up into the wings um you might get the background color so then i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna pull up that knife there and pull up again. Oh, and my canvas is going to move on me. So I'm just pulling it straight up and out. I'm not looking for a solid line. You can really define your ends and pull in if you like that look. You got that? Yeah, I got it. You want to see? Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Then I get a good bit more paint, right? And then I like to run it right down the side of the dress. Or you could do it from the bottom up, whatever makes you feel better. I have a good bit of paint on there. Let me see if I can pull it up closer. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, geez camera angles but it's on there pretty thick yeah I like that thick right so I'm going to do that on both sides yep oh stop it stay there little angel stay there oh boy did you know this was going to be a you know what show Kara well I named it that <laughs> So it's right. perfect. From a very short and fluffy girl, I'm in. <laughs> so then I like fluffy. Yes, fluffy is good. 
right? I've been so. called fluffy when my son was little and he's a little baby and he would lay on my bosom. He's like, I like your, I like to lay here. You're so fluffy, mom. <laughs> that's funny because my son would always tell me, you're so soft. <laughs> you're like, so soft. Kid so I'm just putting in some more of those little outward um, strokes with my palette knife. Filling this in a bit. Right. And then I like to take the knife flat against the canvas, grab and just set it right there in that wet paint. And then I like to pull it down. Oh, I see. So like put a lot on those wings and then pull it down. Yep. Or just scrape down. That's, yeah. you know, this is just the way I like it. But right. that doesn't mean you have to do it that way. But then I do go back in with that palette knife with more paint and kind of fix up my wings. So it's just kind of like you just have to play with it till you're happy. Yeah. Um, I do like getting some of that extra color out pulled into the wings. So, yeah, if you just you can softly pull that paint down. You can scrape it. You're just creating that wing. So I'll do the same thing. If you don't want to scrape through your ring, wings there, you can just pull that. Oh, I'm really actually liking mine right now. See? See? Look at you. You're a good teacher. See? Let me see when you're done. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to fix one side up a little bit to make okay. it more more like I like it when you get that knife and you can even like just tap it I love the texture that's what I, I love. love I love painting with a palette knife I mean I love it it's so free. yeah I love those skips on the canvas and the texture yeah, yeah. kind of like pat it there's there's mine so far you really 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 oh, I love it she really needs a head Yes. That's her. Yes. But get some of the white into her dress now that we're now that I'm going into well her dress is so wet. No, but that's good. You want it wet. If you want a really solid white, you want to wait for it to dry. But if you just take that palette yeah. knife and softly pull the white down, it stays. It stays. And I'll get a little bit of the pink in there. There you go. I think I'm going to use a touch of pink in mine as well. Neon. This is so out of my comfort zone. Is it? I love the neons, but it's it's not like usually what people know me for. So I'm just going to I'm going to just drag my pink through my wings a bit. All right, I added some pink onto mine, onto my wings, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just did that with the edge of the palette knife. That Very was fun. And this is a cheap old palette knife. Whew. Like I said, you can use um, like a spatula, one of those long, skinny spatulas. Yeah, yeah, like a cake. cake. Yeah, use what you have. Use your fingers if that's all you have, honestly. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, you just keep playing with it till you like the way it looks. You can add more white. You could let it dry and go over it again. Uh, but I'm going to clean off my palette knife from the pink. You don't have to. I'm just, I'm going to. And then I have like a peachy portrait pink. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I got all, oh, I've got a, let's see. Anything skin toned, so you could use like a brown, you could use anything. Look, I've got paint all up my arm. I've got a heck of a lot of dark titanium white. white. And all I need to do, I've got dark titanium white and I'll mix some of this pink in with it. There you go. 
Let's see what happens. Yeah, because you also want some texture in the face too. You know, you don't want just a, a solid little blob there. <clears throat> so, and then um, think about a circle uh, or like an upside down, um, trying to think of the shape, Kara. You can do the head circular. So I'm just gonna put a round circle there using that end of my palette knife. I'm gonna do it with my finger. There you go. And then I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit to make it look like um, a chin. Oh, okay. I can't do that with my finger. It's almost like a heart without the bumps at the top. Yep. I'm just gonna pull some of that color right down into the wing. That's what I love about this. It's just color. Okay. Yep. And do you have a metallic gold or anything like that? Um, here, I have copper, yes, I do. You don't have to do that. I got some copper. That'll work. Anything metallic. So you can use the very tip of your palette. You can go ahead and switch to a small paintbrush, a toothpick, whatever you might have. I'm just going to take some of this gold and I'm going to come around the front of her face that we just put on and just kind of make a little halo. A halo? Yep. Yeah, give her a little halo. I'm going a little bit across her forehead and then just do that a, what do you call it? Oval shape to make like a little halo. I know it seems like I'm so far from the camera. So there she is so far. Okay, I've got a halo, cute. Okay. Kind of crooked. My, mine's all completely crooked. Her, her head is like, I don't do straight, straight. I just think perfect is boring. And then like crooked, that's good. Then I'm I not like, boring. Yep. I like crooked faces. I like things that are quirky. I'm just picking up a good bit of my gold. And then I'm going to use the edge of my palette knife and just pull some gold anywhere that you want really on her. Okay, I'm gonna put some on her dress. There you go. It just Mine's makes it look pretty. In her wings. And I'm just using, uh, you guys, I've like got these cool Q-tips and I'm just kind of dragging it through her wings. Yes, you know, you can make beautiful art with Q-tips. Have you ever I done that? like queen because I have my art at two different places so half the time I don't have what I want so I am just like queen at just finding whatever I have and making yep. like I will use any tool for sure well you know there was a time and you know just like I did share a little bit of my story but after my husband passed away um, you know I had some art tools uh, I'd always been into art and I'm not being picky or, or, you know, weird about this gold. I'm just putting it on there. I just, it just gives it something that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, there were times where honestly, I couldn't go to the store and buy all the, the new brushes. And, you know, that's the number one question I get asked when I let her is, oh, what brush do you use? Well, I, I don't gatekeep my secrets but I don't use anything special. Like I can use a Walmart liner brush to do the lettering. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not, it's not always the tool. It's, it's yeah. what you do with the tools that you had, you know? Right. It's how you utilize them. Yeah. Then, like you, you know, I can't get it out. Um, like finally getting to that point where you realize and understand that 
a tool is not, it shouldn't be only intended for its one specific per purpose. Children understand that very well when they're young. And then as we, as we become adults, we start forgetting that. Like you see children doing dramatic play and they'll pick up a block and pretend like it's a phone, right? And it's not just a block, it's for a lot of things. And as we age, we start to get into this mindset that we have to have the perfect tool instead of compromising, you know, like nobody needs a palette knife. You can have credit cards. You exactly. Know. You know, you you a, a plastic, you know, food, uh, plastic cutlery or, or whatever, you know, we yeah, I, I could have a card to go in there and you can yeah. even use that now. You know, if there's a spot where you don't like, you can scrape some of that off. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, like I'll use the tip of it here and I'm just going to just dot a tiny bit on her face just to give her a highlight. Exactly. Exactly. You know. But there we go. And that's Wonderful. A, that's about it. I mean, you can keep playing with it. And I've seen like people put like just like a very vague like lips, like a little dot for the lips that I think yes. is cute pink. Um, but that's awesome. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for having me. Of course. Can we see your beautiful face? There you are. There you are. All right, you guys. So if you're just coming on here, watch the replay and, and show us show us some love. Um, we will, this is Kim from Lolly Doodle Studios, Widow on Fire. So make sure you go and follow her if you have not already done that. And, um, we'll be back next week. Next week, we're going to be on with Melanie Perry and we're going to do something really interesting. She's the hometown painter, but she's not going to paint. So that's going to be cool. Kara, thank you again for having me as your first guest. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give us all your hearts and your thumbs up and everything you got to give and let's support all of the small artists, all your friends that are small artists, please, you know, continue to support them guys. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm going to end the broadcast, but you can stay so we can say hi and chat. Okay. 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 Bye. Bye.